All right, let's move on to Hercules. <clears throat> this is really the first one. I mean, since like Aladdin, really, there was Lion King, which I ranked a ten. Pocahontas was okay. Huntsback and Notre Dame was a nine, and I have toys, but it was really. Hercules that I really got because he's a big macho man, you know, when I was a kid and he's like big. I really really enjoyed Hercules. Hercules is one of my favorites. Uh I'm also sorry the story is it's Hercules. The son of Zeus and Hera is stolen by Hades' minions Pan and Panic, who are voiced by Matt Frewer and Bobcat Goldthwait, respectively. They are brought they bring the little baby to Earth. And give him this special serum that's supposed to get rid of his powers. He has to drink, every, they have to make the baby drink every last drop for it to work. But they miss one drop, so he still has his super strength. And he's found by this old couple who take him in. But he, as he grows up, he finds that he doesn't fit in with the world due to his immense strength. Eventually, he goes to search. His adoptive parents give him this little amulet or necklace thingy just pendant that has like the mark of the gods on it or something so he goes and he finds the temple of zeus he finds out that he is zeus's son but the problem is is now he's mostly human he has to prove that he's a hero and prove that he has what it takes to become a god and so he goes to philatides or phil played but voiced by danny devito this is a, excuse me, this is also Phil's story, because Phil, he's tried to train heroes before, they failed, he's never been able to do it, so now he's got a chance with Hercules, so this is parallel to them, you know, he's trying to train a perfect hero, but Herc, it gets to his head, and eventually Hercules meets Meg, or Megara, who is working for Hades, and Hades, once Hades realizes that his two idiot sidekicks didn't get rid of Hercules, <clears throat> he forces Meg, who is sort of, I don't want to use the term slave, is in, employed to him due to selling her soul to get a boyfriend. Some, I think, I think I went like, her boyfriend was dying. She sold her soul to get him. And then he went off with someone else. Which, take or leave it, it's kind of like uh, Ghost Rider. And my theory has been that Hades purposely made her boyfriend fall for someone else. So say he just <laughs> yank her away. It's not specifically said. It's a kid's movie, so they're not going to like get really dark like that. But... I'm sure that's... It's the same thing as Ghost Rider. I mean, come on. Um, and yeah, but the problem is she falls in love with this... With Hercules. And she sings this song. A song that was played over and over and over and over again in my house. Because my sister loved that song. And even once the internet came in, oh my god, it was worse. She was on YouTube all the time listening to that song. Who do you think you're kidding? He's the earth and heaven to you. Try it, not in heaven. Uh, oh, no, no, I won't say I won't say it. No, 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 I deny it. Uh-oh. Whatever, I don't know the words. I won't say I'm in love. My songs are Phil's song. So you want to be a hit hero, kid? Well, what they do? I've been around the block before with blockheads just like you. Each and every one a disappointment. Pain. <clears throat> Wish there ain't no ointment. So much for excuses. Though the kid is Zeus's. Asking me to step into the fray. My answer is two words. <laughs> okay. You know uh, I'm down to one last hope, and I hope it's you. Though you're not exactly a dream come true. That that song, and of course, the song. I will. I can go the distance, which is some of Michael Bolton in the credits, by the way. I forgot about that, by the way. I was. 
I, I like the ending of this. And we'll get to it because the ending is so good. And they, they play the rest of the song, of this, the ending song, Star is Born, which I also like at the end. And then they go into that. I was ready to mute it and then started playing. I'm like, oh, yeah. So I just kind of sat there to sing the song. Yeah. So. Hades eventually releases the Titans, which were imprisoned by. Uh, by Zeus. His plan was to, you know, get Hercules out of the way, release the Titans. And, uh, and take over Olympus. But, um, if he was planning on releasing the Titans, he had to wait for the, all the planets to align to do it, I guess. I just had to think about that. I was like, wait, what? No, no, I remember. He had to wait for all the planets to align or whatever. And then he can release the Titans. And so he makes a deal with Hercules. He will, like, spare Meg or something. And, uh, if, uh, if any harm comes to Meg, the deal's off. But he gives up his strength to Hades. Hades takes his strength. And then he sticks the, uh, Cyclops on him. And they have a battle. And he almost kills, uh, Hercules. But during the fight, uh, Meg gets hurt, mortally wounded. And Hercules, who almost dies, gets his strength back and deals with the thing. He saves Olympus. He goes down to the underworld, because he can't say hell, and rescues Meg's soul. I do like, there's one line that I always quote from, from Hades. Voiced great, greatly, wonderfully, I should say, by James Woods. And that's when Pegasus does the... What was my hair out? <laughs> what was my hair out? Yeah. I I also like the 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 when uh, Hercules is fighting the uh, what do you call that? The uh, it's got the heads, you know. I forget what it's called, but it, each time you chop off a head, another one grows. That's why I can't figure out what it's called. But he fights that, and. Hades thinks that, you know, Hercules is down, but then, you know, uh, he's alive, you know, game, set, match, which is smoking in a kid's movie, but this is before they changed everything, you know. So, Phil's biggest thing is he wants a hero that he can train and be successful, and he wants people to say, he wants, he wants, you know, the hero drawn out in the stars and for someone to say, hey, look, that's Phil's boy, you know? And this ending. So by the end of this, Hercules has become a hero. He's able to go back into heaven or to Olympus. Sorry, to Olympus. But he's fallen in love with Meg. Now, some people would say, oh, but his whole purpose is to become a hero and he gives it up for a woman. Well, yeah. I mean, he still gets his super strength because it's Hercules. But, yeah. And he gives it up for Meg. And then you get the whole thing at the end, playing the star is born, and then they show Hercules drawn in the stars. Someone says, hey, look, that's Phil's boy. And it's just, you know, it makes me smile. and I, I tear up a little bit. But, yeah, it's it's great. And they're all happy at the end, you know? It's a great film. It really is. I give it a 9 out of 10. Um, is there really any problem with it? Not really. Uh, maybe the... Okay, so they got the muses singing throughout this. And it's, it's there to kind of bring you through the story. But after a while, you kind of just want to watch the movie. And they do go away and they show up at the end. But it's just, I don't know. Maybe the muses are a little too much. That, and I, I'm never really sure whether or not they're actually there and someone can see them. Because they start singing that song with Meg. Who in that, I would say I'm in love. That song. But 
does she really hear them? Are they really there? What? I don't know. I don't know if it's enough to get a notch, but I never really cared for the muses. Everything else is fine. It's a 9 out of 10 for me. So what are your thoughts on Hercules? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I've been Scotty. See you in the next one.